18 years later and I finally got this shoe. Just by looking at the box, you can see there are definitely gonna be some nostalgic vibes when it comes to this video. And I'm excited to tell you guys about my Chamber of Fear LeBron Air Force Ones. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! But you know on this channel, we always gotta talk about the history first. Back in 2005, LeBron was still fresh into the NBA and his LeBron ones had just came out. There were definitely still a lot of reasons why people thought he would never live up to the hype. And with that, Nike decided to run with it and create the Chamber of Fear pack. And this could potentially be one of the greatest Air Force One packs to ever release. So 18 years ago, we saw this commercial and LeBron was going through and defeating his five fears that they decided to state and use those fears as different colorways for the sneakers that they decided to release from the pack, which we will get into in a second. So as you can see in the commercial, they give it that Bruce Lee vibe as he goes through and defeats his opponents in different environments representing different shoes. Also during this time, China media decided to ban this campaign because they said it didn't uphold national dignity or interest and respect. Even though LeBron had a huge respect for the country and has shown that over the years, at the time, he was still young in the game and they kind of used that against him. But either way, the pack definitely had a huge impact on the sneaker culture in America. So at the beginning of 2005, we we saw five different colorways, like I said earlier, representing the different fears, and this is what they were. Temptation, which released in New York City. Hater, which released in Denver. Complacency, which released in Chicago. Hype, which released in San Francisco. And Self Doubt, which released in Cleveland. Also during this time, there was a huge push for the LeBron 2, and we saw him wearing the Olympic colorway during the Olympics in that era. I vividly remember seeing these on court back in the day and always wanting to have this shoe. Didn't get them when they first came out, but when they retroed, and to see that they're only going for around 100 bucks right now, I had to pick them up. Now, if you look really closely at the sneakers that he was wearing, you can see on the strap of the shoe, it actually says Chamber of Fear. And also with that, they created a couple special player edition colorways that had Chamber of Fear effects on them as well that were only available for LeBron to wear on and off the court. So now that you guys know a little bit more about the Air Force Ones and how they came about, let's go ahead and unbox my pair so I can give you guys some more details. So again, looking at the box right here, you got that old school early two thousands vibe when it comes to this we've actually seen nike bring that back when it comes to the newer retro air force ones that's been coming out but this is actually the box from then back in the day now lifting open the lid of the box right here you got a couple different things these come equipped with a pair of white laces and an additional pair of purple laces which you will see inside the shoe and then you have this pamphlet right here let's go ahead and crack this thing open real quick so opening this up right here, let's see what we got inside. I'm pretty sure it was a letter, I forgot. I haven't opened this up in a while. The paper actually matches the envelope, which is super dope. And then you have that same branding, which we'll talk about with the posters in a second. And then at the bottom right here is something interesting because back then, this is kind of how it went when it came to the releases. And on here it says, Good Hustle, You Cop Temptation, the second chamber of fear shoe. See you at the All-Star Game on February 18th for the haters, question mark. So it's kind of dope to see how they created this pack and built up this hype around the shoe. So to have this little note that went along with the drop is definitely something that's a cool addition to have in this sneaker still to this day. Now continuing on with it, peeling back the paper right here, you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Hey, yo, real quick. I built a community of individuals just like you guys that are interested in sneakers and trying to take their game to the next level. So if you're interested, make sure you hit the link down below in the description and get signed up. I built a full eight week program. We have community with challenges, monthly meetups, you name it. Everything's on the inside. I'm excited to have you. Now let's keep it going with the video. So when it comes to this sneaker, rumor has it, there's only 150 pairs of this shoe made and when it comes to this pack as we know reaching way back in time going to get an old shoe like this it makes it even harder and then to know that there's only 150 pairs of it it can make things really difficult trying to put this whole set together in current time especially to get a good condition pack at that so starting with the bottom of the shoe right here you have your classic air force one outsole in the all black Wrapping up to the midsole, all white with the black stitch, and then you have your black arrow with the black bar on the side of that right there in the back end. And going to the upper, you have a premium white leather and a purple patent leather that goes alongside with that. And then when it comes to the heel hit right here in Chinese, it reads Temptation as well. And then on the back end, you have a black patent leather with a LeBron James logo stitched with that same purple color and branding right there. Now, like I said earlier, these have white laces and the standard purple laces that come with the shoe as well. And then you have a white leather tongue behind that and the same branding black patch with the purple LeBron James logo on the top of the tongue. Now, one hit that I really love about this shoe is the insoles. It's super dope because they took the posters that they used in the different promotions and put that on the insole to complete the same image. If you put the two insoles together, you can see what I'm talking about but it actually made it even doper because they made a video game where you could go and compete on the game online and then you could win different prizes, whether it may be posters or baller bands or whatever it may be. But I thought that was a cool concept to say that they were doing this back in 2005.
5. When it comes to special releases like this, it's always cool to see how they put those extra elements, whether it may be something that went along with the camp out or additional thing that you got with it, like the posters or whatever it may be. I always like hearing those stories when it comes to these type of shoes because that's what makes it a little bit more cool to have in your collection compared to just your everyday sneaker you can go and get at Foot Locker or something like that. And don't get me wrong, that's something cool to have too, but it's always fun to have the hunt for the sneaker in the current moment of the drop or years later when you're going after it to complete the pack. So like I said earlier, you had the five different OG colorways that came out and then you had the additional colorway that came out in 2018, which was called the Fearless Warrior. There was a little bit of buzz around the shoe, but honestly, they kind of slipped through the cracks and everybody didn't really hear too much about it. They dropped and they became really hard to find and really hard to get. I think the other five colorways are still better than the Fearless Warrior in my opinion, but at the end of the day, if you have all five other shoes, I'm sure a lot of people want to get that last colorway to complete the set. And when it comes to pricing on these shoes, literally all of the shoes are going for around a thousand dollars, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more depending on the colorway. But if you want to find a clean dead stock pair, you're going to be spending a pretty penny. That's why when I found this used pair and I knew they were still clean, <laughs> I had to jump on it. So after seeing all that in here, Hear more about the sneaker let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section for me again this is a grail a sneaker that i've always wanted to have and i'm so glad to finally be able to pick these up and again shout out to my homies over there at untied la i appreciate you guys as always they found me a pair in a size 13 soon as i found out that they got them in a the shop i had to pick these up been looking for these for a really long time and it's hard to find a clean pair sometimes they're really really beat up so that can definitely make things difficult when you're reaching back in the past looking for other sneakers from 50 15, 20 years ago. So I hope this video was helpful and I'm just interested to see what are some of your old Air Force One favorites from back in the day. You know, early 2000s, 2001, 2005, different things like that. I would love to hear it down below in the comment section. I would never let you down. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to hit the link down below in the description. Sign up, join the community. I'm excited to have you guys on the inside and help you take your game to the next level. If you ever need any help or questions, I'm always going to be there. We have plenty of help groups there with courses and hours of tutorials inside of the community as well. Plus the monthly meetups are always fun. So I hope you guys can join the next one. I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm excited to see you guys on the inside of the academy. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. One I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA